This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey everybody and welcome back. Well, we're in Maya 2017 and I'm going to redo a tutorial that I did three years ago. And I'm doing so because I specifically was requested to do that. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at caustics, a caustic effect created by a water surface where light hits the water surface, hits the bottom, and we're basically simulating an ocean bottom with that you know cool light effect that you get when light goes through water. Right, so it starts with a preset. So what we're going to do is we're going to find that, and it has changed a lot since 2014. Menus are all over the place right now. So we're going to make sure we're in the modeling menu. We're going to go to generate. We're going to go to get brush. Select that. Here we've got a bunch of options to choose from. We're going to select FX. We're going to go to fluids. We're going to select ocean examples. And this is the one we want, underwatercaustics.ma. Okay. We're going to double click on it. It's activated. Minimize that and zoom out. So what do we got? we got a NURBS plane, we have a directional light, we have an ambient light, and we have a camera, and we have some fog, okay? And I'll just open up the outliner so you can see what's going on. So that's our ambient light right there. That's our NURBS plane. Then we have a directional light, and we have our fog, okay? And here's our underwater camera. Now, it's important to understand that you need to use Maya software as a renderer to see this effect, okay? So I'm going to go to panel and perspective to look through my underwater camera and then we're going to go into render settings and I'm going to make sure I got my software selected. I'm going to make this, uh, let's see, HD 1080 and uh, let's see what else, not too much. And we're just going to leave that alone. Okay. Uh, we're going to go quality. Let's do production quality. Why not? It shouldn't be an option. Right, so let's hit render and let's see what we get. We'll just give it a sec. Okay, and you can see that that effect is clearly working. Uh, we'll just minimize that. I want to get in a bit closer. And what I want to do to create a cool effect is we're just going to create an object, uh, like a floating object or whatnot. So I'm going to hit W, move that up, hit E to rotate that slightly. And I kind of want to have that suspended, you know, like a semi floating object. Okay. So let's get that in our shot and let's do a new render and let's see what happens. Now the thing with caustics is whenever you do that, it starts to uh, calculate like crazy. But you can see that this is a pretty neat shot here. You got uh, that light effect on the top surface of our object and you got the shadow hitting the floor, okay? So this is basically all there's to it, guys. It's a straightforward preset, but you can have a lot of fun with this, okay? So check it out. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.